Today in math, we are going to use place value and expanded form to compare three digit numbers. But first, I have a question. Which number is larger, 220 or 229? Which number is larger, 220 or 229? How do you know? How can you figure it out? How can you show it? Can we fill the numbers with base 10 blocks or write them in base 10 shorthand? Let's do that. I'll do 220 in green. 220. I have two hundreds, two flats, two tens, so two longs, 10, 20, and zero ones. And I'll do 229 in purple. I have two hundreds. I have two longs, 10, 20, and I have nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Both numbers have the same number of flats and the same number of longs. But there are more cubes in 229 than in 220. We have nine cubes right here and nothing in the other number. So 229 is larger. You might explain your thinking by saying that I know that 29 is more than 20. So 229 has to be more than 220. So 229 is larger. You might explain your thinking by saying there are two hundreds and two tens in each number, but there are more ones in 229. So 229 is larger because we know that nine is bigger than zero. Let's look at it this way. I'm displaying or showing the numbers one below the other so that the place value positions are lined up. Hundreds are lined up. Tens are lined up. So the hundreds digit is the same, two and two. The tens digit is the same, two and two. If the hundreds digit are the same, each has a value of 200. If the tens digit are the same, each has a value of 20, but the ones digit are not the same. Nine ones is more than zero ones. So 229 is larger than 220. And we can write that by... 229 is larger than 220, or is greater than 220. Do you remember our symbols? Is greater than, is less than, is equal to. This sentence says 229 is greater than 220. Remember that alligator mouth, he's eating that bigger number. We're also going to use expanded form and these symbols to compare numbers. Let's keep going. I have two numbers written down. Let's read the numbers out loud and write them in expanded form. 549 
547. So let's write them in expanded form. 549 a 5 in the 1 or a 5 in the hundreds place the value of that is 500 plus a 4 in the tens place the value of that is 40 plus a 9 in the ones place the value of that is 9 500 plus 40 plus 9 equals 549. This is written in, and our second number, a 5 in the hundreds place. The value of a 5 in the hundreds place is 500, plus a 4 in the tens place. The value is 40, plus a 7 in the ones place. The value is 7. 500 plus 40 plus 7 equals 547. That is written in expanded form. So how can we use the expanded form to determine or figure out which number is larger? Well, I can look at each of the numbers in expanded form, beginning with the hundreds, to see if one is larger. Okay, well, let's see. Well, the two five hundreds are the same. The two forties are the same, but I know that 9 is larger than 7. So which number is larger? 549. So let's write that. 549 is greater than 547. I have two more numbers. 337 325. Let's write these numbers in expanded form. 337. 337, a 3 in the hundreds place. 300 plus a 3 in the tens place. 30, because 3 tens, 10, 20, 30, plus 7 in the ones place. It's a 7. 300 plus 30 plus 7. And let's go over here to 325. A 3 in the hundreds place. The value is 300. That's 3 hundreds. 100, 200, 300. Plus a 2 in the tens place. 2 tens, 20. Plus a 5 in the ones place, 5 ones. Right here in purple, in purple, I've written both of these numbers in expanded form. Let's use expanded form to determine or figure out which number is larger. Okay, let's see. Let's look at the hundreds first. We have 300 here, 300 here. The hundreds are the same, so let's go to the tens place. 30 here and 20 here. Hmm, the tens place, there are different numbers. 30 is more than 20. We don't have to go any further. 30 is more than 20. So 337 is larger than 325, and we will write that as 337 is greater than 325. After we knew that there were more tens than 337, did we need to look at the ones? No, because if there are more tens, then we know that the number is larger because tens are worth more than ones. When we are going to compare numbers, we should start with the digits in the largest place value first. If the two three-digit numbers have different digits in the hundreds place, we immediately know which number is larger. 
I'll show you what that looks like. Right here, I have 246, 321. So, we should start to look at start to look at the digits in the largest place value first. That is the hundreds place. Here and here. 200, there's a 2 in the hundreds place, and a 3 in, in the hundreds place. 321 has more hundreds. It is larger. 3 is bigger than 2. Do we need to look at the tens and the ones? No. Because we can tell from the hundreds that 321 is larger. 321 is greater than 246. Before we go, let's practice writing some numbers in expanded form. 25 equals 20 plus 5. That's because there are 2, there is a 2 in the tens place. That's 2 tens. 10, 20. 20 plus 5. 52 equals 50 plus 2. There's a 5 in the tens place. A 5 in the tens place, the value is 50. Plus a 2 in the ones place, 50 plus 2. 112 equals, there's a 1 in the hundreds place, 100. Plus a 1 in the tens place, so that's 110. Plus a 2 in the ones place. 100 plus 10 plus 2 equals 112. And 203. A 2, 2 in the hundreds place, that's 2 hundreds, 200 plus 0, because there's a 0 in the tens place, plus 3 ones. 200 plus 0 plus 3 equals 203. This is how you write an expanded form. This shows numbers in expanded